On every iPhone and iPad, Apple includes an application called Reminders. And in iOS, there are APIs for allowing you to add things to those reminders. Those reminders can simply be textual reminders, or they can be reminders that also have date and time alerts so that your user can be reminded to do things at specific times. One thing we'll see is that this particular app we're building here cannot be run on the simulator because the Reminders app does not exist on the simulator. You can only run this on a device. And so we're just going to be able to look at the code for this one. And so we've set up two buttons, one to add a reminder, and one to add a reminder with an alarm two minutes from now. So let's take a look at that. As with social networking, there's no specific frameworks we have to add for this because alarms and reminders are an inherent part of iOS. So let's take a look at what we had to do. We had to bring in an import for event kit because event kit is where reminders and alarms and calendars and everything are all integrated together. We bring that in, and then in order to be able to get access to the reminders calendar, we have to access something called the event store. And just like contacts and your photo library and your current location, the iOS operating system requires the user to give permission. So we keep track of whether or not the user has given us access to that event store. So we start out right here in our view did load and access that information and find out. We go allocate an instance of the event store. We set our event store access granted flag equal to no as a default. And then we ask the event store request access to entity type and ask for access to the reminder entities. So then we ask the event store if we can access the reminders by asking request access to entity type, passing in ek entity type reminder, and using a completion block here to determine whether or not we were given access. We set our flag equal to whatever the value of success is. And if success was not true, for example, the user denied access, we put out an entry in the log. And if success is false, we weren't given access to the reminder store. And we put out a message in the log indicating that the user hasn't granted access. So let's take a look at our two methods. Add a reminder. So here's add a reminder. At the beginning, we check to see if we've got access to the event store. If we don't, if the user denied us access at the beginning, we can't do anything, so we just return. If we can, We'll go create a new reminder. So what we do is we say ek reminder, reminder with event store, and pass in the instance of the event store that's initialized for the reminder events. And for this, we set the title for the reminder, you know, watch next movie in iOS for beginners. And then we specify which calendar that reminder should be added to. And in our case, we're using the default calendar for new reminders. Let's make sure that we're not referencing the event store variable directly. Let's change it to be self.eventStore so that we're referencing the property. In order to save our reminder, all we need to do is ask the event store to save our reminder and tell it to commit it. All right, now let's take a look at what it takes to go create a reminder with an alarm. So here in add reminder with alarm, as before, we check to make sure we've got access to the event store. Once we do, we go get the current date and time and add two minutes. And that's just for demonstration purposes. You would might want to ask the user when they want to be reminded, or if you're saying that you want to do something, you know, an hour from now, perhaps a bit more practical than two minutes. In our case, we set an alarm with this absolute date, the date we calculated, which is two minutes from now. And then we go create a new reminder, again, by asking EK Reminder to give us a reminder on this event store. We set the title as we did before. We set the calendar as we did before. And then we do one more thing. We add an alarm to it. So that now, not only does this get added to the reminders, it gets added to the reminders, and two minutes from now, your iPhone will give you a notification letting you know that, hey, it's time to stand up and stretch. And just as we did before, all we have to do in order to be able to save that to the reminders is to call Save Reminder on the Event Store. I highly recommend you plug in your iPhone and your iPad and try this application out on your device. As I mentioned before, we can't run it on the simulator because there's no reminders app there to go look at the calendar. And that's our look at reminders and alarms.